Birds aren't real. That rallying cry has taken wing among younger Americans. Thousands of Gen Zers across the country claim to believe the U.S. government, yes, Uncle Sam, has replaced all birds with look-alike drones being used to spy on the American people. Here's the Birds Aren't Real movement's founder, Peter McIndoe. I think the evidence is all around us. Birds sit on power lines. We believe they're charging on power lines. Um, we believe that bird poop on cars is, you know, a liquid tracking apparatus. Now, not buying that the CIA took out billions of birds and replaced them with avian robots? Don't worry, they aren't really doing it either. The group recently told the New York Times that the whole thing is a parody social movement with a purpose. They say that purpose is to use their conspiracy to combat other potentially more harmful ones. Ben Collins joins me now. He's NBC senior news reporter. Uh, ben, welcome. Good to have you with us. Uh, conspiracy being used to combat conspiracy. How does that work? Well, it works for Gen Z, right? It works in the TikTok generation when you're surrounded by this stuff constantly and want to show everyone else, hold up a mirror, basically, show everyone else uh, the kind of ludicrous stuff they can come to believe if other people are saying it loud enough. Uh, that's what's going on here. You know, the, the leader here uh, created this movement in part because his parents believed, you know, all of those ridiculous conspiracy theories about, you know, UFOs and stuff, too. Uh, he was saying, hey, I can just make one up and uh, be as loud as them. We'll see how far this goes. Yeah, I, I was I was hoping that I could stop buying all that bird seed that I put out there, but <laughs> I guess I can't. They're, the birds are real. Uh, the New York Times calls this, uh, by the way, an attempt to upend the rabbit hole with absurdism. Could it work or could it backfire? I mean, there's a possibility that people don't like the government so much that they might really believe it. Look, I, you know, in the last, you know, decade of covering InfoWars, I can tell you right now, if it can get dumber, it will get dumber. However... Look, they have some allies here who are victims of this. Cameron Caskey, who is a uh, Parkland shooting survivor, loves this. You know, he's a big fan of this movement. You know, it allows him to show other people how ridiculous these people sound. Um, so while it may not be as intuitive as you would think, it is a real line of defense by people who grew up with this. Maybe they have better answers than, you know, old people like us. Well, the birdies go tweet, tweet, tweet. Ben Collins, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.